Keanu Reeves as John Wick is one of the best casting in a movie since they cast Keanu as Neo in The Matrix. John Wick is one of the better action films of modern times. So let's find a little John Wick weird on today's episode of Five Weird Things. Welcome to the channel. Keanu Reeves is an action movie money in Hollywood. I have seen this movie well over a dozen times. It never gets old. Now, how many times have you seen it? If you've seen it more than 12 times, probably 13, put that down in the comments. I'll tip my hat to you. All right, let's get into it. First, stuff we should all know. John Wick is a thrilling action film directed by Chad Stalinsky and John Lech, starring Keanu Reeves as the titular character, a retired hitman seeking vengeance for the death of his beloved dog, Daisy, and the theft of his vintage car. The film follows Wick as he comes out of retirement to track down and eliminate Russian mobsters responsible for these acts. As Wick delves deeper into the criminal underworld, he faces formidable adversaries and navigates a world governed by a strict code of conduct among assassins. Fueled by grief and driven by a relentless quest for justice, John Wick showcases his lethal skills in a series of intense and stylishly choreographed action scenes, earning him the nickname Baba Yaga, the boogeyman, among his enemies. With its slick visuals, compelling storyline, and standout performances, John Wick has become a modern cult classic and launched a successful movie franchise with four films in it as of now, and one spinoff. Weird thing number five, Daisy the dog. Where does it all start? Daisy, the adorable beagle puppy that John Wick receives as a gift from his dead wife, is portrayed by a real dog named Andy. However, the inspiration for Daisy actually comes from Keanu Reeves' own dog in real life, who shares the same breed and name. The symbolism of Daisy is that in the film, Daisy serves as a symbol of hope and connection to John Wick's deceased wife, Helen. She represents the last remnant of John's former life before he was pulled back into the world of assassins. Daisy's tragic fate serves as the catalyst for John's return to the violent underworld he had left behind. Despite her short screen time, Daisy's death has a profound impact on Wick, drives a huge amount of the film's plot. Her brutal killing by the group of Russian thugs, led by Yosef Terasov, ignites John's quest for vengeance, sets off a chain of events that propels the film's action-packed narrative forward. And if you didn't know Daisy dies in the film, my bad. Spoiler alert. Weird thing number four, the world of John Wick. The High Table is a secretive council of powerful crime lords and influential characters who govern the criminal underworld in the John Wick universe. They establish and enforce the rules that govern the behavior of assassins including the use of the Continental Hotel as neutral territory. The High Table's authority is absolute, and disobeying their directives carries severe consequences. In the world of John Wick, gold coins serve as the currency of choice among assassins. The coins are used to pay for goods, services, and information within the criminal underworld. Each coin represents a specific value and can be exchanged for various resources, including weapons, lodging at the Continental Hotel, and even the services of other assassins. Within the world of John Wick, there are various guilds, factions, and organizations that operate within the criminal underworld. These groups include the Camorra, the Triads, the Russian Mafia, each with its own hierarchy, territories, and allegiances. The intricate web of alliances and rivalries among these factions add depth and complexity to the world of John Wick driving much of the conflict and intrigue seen throughout the entire film series. Now, the next piece of John Wick's world is the Hotel Continental, and it really needed its own section. So, weird thing number three, the Continental Hotel. The hotel is a sanctuary for assassins, serving as neutral ground where they can conduct business and seek refuge without fear of violence. The hotel's management strictly enforces this rule, ensuring that no business is conducted on the premises and that all guests adhere to the hotel's code of conduct. In addition to providing luxurious accommodations, the Continental Hotel offers a range of specialized services tailored to the needs of its assassin clientele. These services include access to an exclusive bar, tailor-made suits, and a network of resources such as weapons and information. The hotel's amenities cater to the unique lifestyle and requirements of its guests, further reinforcing its status as a haven for assassins. Now, violating the rules of the Continental Hotel comes with severe consequences. 
One of the most important rules is the prohibition against killing on hotel grounds. In other words, conducting business. Anyone who breaks this rule faces immediate expulsion from the hotel and is declared excommunicado, meaning they lose access to the hotel services and become fair game for other assassins. The hotel's strict enforcement of its rules adds tension and intrigue to the film series, as characters must navigate the dangers of the criminal underworld while respecting the sanctuary provided by the Continental Hotel. Now, there is a spin-off series called The Continental from the world of John Wick, and it tells the background story of how Winston Scott, in an alternate history of the 1970s, came to his possession as proprietor of the New York branch of the Continental Chain of Hotels, safe havens for the legal assassins on the grounds of which no business may ever take place. Still haven't seen it, definitely meaning to. Weird thing number two, the death toll. John Wick features numerous action-packed sequences where the titular character dispatches adversaries with precision and efficiency. The film's stylized choreography and inventive fight scenes contribute to its reputation as a standout action film. Focus on individual targets so that rather emphasizing a large body count, even though there is one, John Wick often focuses on the protagonist's pursuit of specific targets, such as the Russian mobsters responsible for his dog's death. This approach allows for more detailed characterization and development of the film's central conflict. While John Wick doesn't rely on gratuitous violence for shock value, the film's portrayal of action is nonetheless impactful. Each death serves a narrative purpose, driving the plot forward and highlighting the consequences of crossing John Wick's path. And finally, weird thing number one. Keanu Reeves did most of his own stunts. He underwent extensive training to prepare for his role as John Wick in the film series. Reeves trained extensively for martial arts in his role of John Wick. He worked with skilled martial arts instructors to learn techniques such as judo, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and gun fu, a fictional martial arts style that incorporates gun handling into hand-to-hand -hand combat. In addition to martial arts, Reeves underwent rigorous firearms training to realistically portray John's proficiency with firearms. He trained with weapons experts to learn proper handling, aiming, and shooting techniques, enabling him to perform many of his own stunts in the film. Reeves also engaged in a disciplined fitness regimen to improve his strength, agility, and endurance for the physically demanding role. He focused on cardiovascular exercises, weight training, and flexibility exercises to ensure that he was in peak physical condition for the demanding action sequences. Reeves was actively involved in performing many of his own stunts in the John Wick films. His training in martial arts, firearms, physical conditioning, and combat driving allowed him to execute complex fight choreography and perform daring stunts with precision and skill, adding authenticity to the action scenes. In a documentary that I watched, I saw the director talking about how Keanu was so skilled behind the wheel that he was able to create scenes that they hadn't planned on where he skids the car up into one of the bad guys who breaks the passenger side window, and it's actually the camera coming into the car. And you can clearly see that it's Keanu Reeves behind the wheel. It's a phenomenal shot. Well, that's it for today's episode. I love the movie. I love making this video. Leave any opinions down in the comments. Do me a solid favor. Like, subscribe, share the video. And for those still watching, today's code word is DAISY, of course. Put that down in the comments to make sure John Wick never knows your name. Take care. Have a great day.